Also another very interesting thing is that you can see the colors, how it is mixed with the, with the minerals of the rocks. And that is because it has been pushing all this sand, all those materials, minerals, pretty much to the front of the glacier. But since it's a very thin powder, basically, it's, it's, it's a sand, uh, the, 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 the material or the minerals that are in the moraine, uh, even the, the most slightly breeze can bring some of that powder and it's going to be uh, spread on, uh, in, in, in top of the, of the ice. So that is why you have all those uh, very nice colors. If you want to take a closer look with your camera or, or the, the binoculars, you're going to see that it's pretty much on top. So it's not really inside inside the ice. As you can see, those, those uh, zodiacs are a little bit closer. We are going to, uh, to go to. Uh, but the thing that I want you to notice is that in other glaciers, for example, in Antarctica, we couldn't do that because we know that they were, uh, uh, I mean, you have a, a big risk of carving a, a chunk falling and then you are going to have a tsunami as you can see this one is very very steady